Suprema, su, su, Suprema roll call. 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 Quest Love Supreme, yeah. And we down south, yeah. Cannot believe, yeah. We got Fonte out the house. <laughs> Suprema, su, su, Suprema roll call. Suprema, su, su, Suprema roll call. My name is Fonte. Yeah. I hope y'all miss me. Yeah. I'm feeling good. Yeah. But you feeling bitchy. Right. <laughs> Suprema. No, no, no. Su, su, Suprema roll call. Suprema. No, 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 no. Suprema roll call. Bitch is my No, no. Yeah. Atlanta's lit. Yeah. yeah. We doing roll calls. Yeah. Back to the shit. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm sick and tired of y'all messing with all of my album titles. Suprema. Suprema roll call. It's Laia. Yeah. And we back. Yeah. The Jackson ladies are here. Yeah. No. Y'all ready for that? No. No. Yeah. No, we not. Suprema. No. Su su Suprema roll call. call. Make it up. Suprema. Suprema. Su su next. Suprema roll call. call. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I had to say it. Yeah. yeah. My mama's roll call. call. <laughs> Suprema. Suprema roll call. You got this. You got it, Miss Lovis. You got this. Suprema roll call. Ain't no roll call. Yeah. Y'all just calling out my side. Yeah. Back to the shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> roll call. That was wrong. Oh, yeah. Suprema. I was right. Suprema roll call. Suprema. Suprema roll call. Suprema, su, 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 Suprema roll call. Suprema, su, su, Suprema roll call. Wow. Yes. First time in after, three years. After three, yo, I'm saying this is, ah, okay. Uh, yeah. We uh. were, we were, ladies and gentlemen, we were very <laughs> nervous. Like, you should have seen us. It was like, not even the first day of school, but. Well, they the, all going to see us on this. Yes. Oh, God. They're literally seeing us right now. Oh, man. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to an episode, just a regular episode of yeah. Quest Love Supreme. Yeah. Yeah, man. Fonte, how did we get you out the house? <laughs> man, um. Is this the first time you left North Carolina? Uh, yeah. Oh, look at we see Even minus know. gigs or whatever? Nah, nah. We didn't play no gigs. You have no not gigs. been on a stage in two. We did. The first uh, Little Brother show we did, it was in May. March I in North Carolina. Months. Yeah, it was in North Carolina. It was outdoor gig. We uh, opened for Sylvan So, but wow. that was it, man. I haven't been nowhere. We've, I've been in the crib. I've been knocking on wood. You I know, know congratulations. Sipping and sliding. No COVID. No nothing. So I'm congratulations. Trying to going. I know how we got him out the house. How do we get him out the house? It's an all expense paid trip somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's a me, Jackson, me, me, yeah. What are you talking about? Like, yeah, God, yeah, yeah. Like he almost started crying the second she saw us because. I could tell the the way we hugged, it was almost like, nah, it almost really, felt like it's Bill Sherman's I'll, funeral or something, like, because Bill's <laughs> not here. Bill's yeah. uh, back on, I assume he's still at Sesame Street, yeah, which is yeah, why. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, no, I, I, Fonte almost, we are, he, I told him he almost busted the titty yesterday in our first, our first hug. It felt so good. Wow. It, it was just so tight. It was good, though. I missed him. I missed Fonte. Ain't nothing like a Fonte hug. You had, if you had one, you know out there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. Steve. Nah, it's really is good to see y'all, man. It, it's, 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 it, I, I really miss y'all. I got my Fonte hug. Okay. Yeah. Same. I got my Fonte hug. You got hug. one? Uh -huh. Yeah. It, I got my publisher's clearing house thing. I don't know. Yeah. Um, so I will say that we at Quest Love Supreme uh, definitely did want to go a third year. Uh, without at least a Supreme roll call, so it was important yeah. that we all do this in in person. And I, I guess we wanted to do this in grand fashion. So in case you're listening, uh, we took a pilgrimage to uh, the great state of Georgia. Yes. Yeah, we're going to be here uh, doing welcome uh, to Atlanta. Many <laughs> many episodes uh, uh, that you'll hear uh, probably the next six or seven Quest Love Supreme episodes will be based. In Atlanta, Georgia. Um, Wait, I'm in Georgia. Yeah, you're, you're in Georgia oh, right now. Right. We're not in New York anymore. Yeah, they don't let me out of Manhattan very much, so I this see. is a, this is good. Well, you know, without further ado, I'll say that um, we're really excited to have our special guests on the show. Wait, can we also just admit that we are now officially on YouTube? Yeah. Oh, we kind of yeah. been, been doing, doing these, a soft launch. We yeah, we've been doing <laughs> this. <laughs> 
no, well, I didn't know. I didn't realize until the Steve Rifkin episode that we were <laughs> that we had a YouTube. And we page. went viral uh-huh. with Jennifer Lewis, yeah. Oh, even wait the Jennifer Lewis episode. Yeah, I it's got on TikTok. About it's that on TikTok. From people that don't even listen. Yep. To, yeah, we made it to the talk on that one, bro. Yep. Oh, we're legendary. Oh, on, we on the talk. I mean, man. come on now, we ain't Millie Jackson, but we. The- <laughs> we're not Millie Jackson. Dude, but we if are. we're on the talk, that means that you know. That's true. Wow. Okay. Kids know us. Right now, kids know us. Well, I'll I'll say that I I've been begging and hoping and wishing for this moment uh, for the longest. Um, and it was when we did said Steve Rifkin episode in which we were reminded uh, that his legendary father, Jules, um, had signed uh, our guest today to the label. Um, I don't know. Thoughts just started racing in my head because it's like I see Spring Records almost as the precursor of like a Def Jam simply because our guest today is truly the, 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 the mother of. I don't even, uh, let's go binary, non-binary with it. She's the creator of of rap. You know what I'm saying? And, I mean, not to mention, Steve Rifkin also signed in James Brown, which damn near provided the landscape for every sample that we had on the label. Jules, Jules uh, Rifkin. Not to mention, Fatback's King Tim III, the official first rap release on the label. Wow. So Spring Records is... Wow. It's super legendary. I didn't realize that until we did the, the, the Rifkin episode. And um I will say that um this our our guest is definitely one of the the first artists uh I've ever seen have a, a warning sticker. <laughs> that was my that was in my uncle, my dad's don't touch that part of the record collection, which instantly meant I'm I gotta hear it. it. <laughs> right, 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 right. The now first time I ever looked at put, put on, Oh, what's she say? Oh my god, what's that? Yeah, that's 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 this moment, you know what I mean? Um, and, you know, it's such a legendary discography. I mean, name these, like, there's Caught Up, uh, Still Caught Up, is even better, the, the sequel. Uh, the Afro, uh, aforementioned uh, Feeling Bitchy. Feeling Bitchy. Uh, heard So Good. My favorite, uh, Live and Uncensored. Mm-hmm. With, you know, I've been, I think I got first got sent to the principal's office for singing uh, Fuck You. Yes. <laughs> In the third grade. <laughs> that's a, Oh, That's the really? first time I got to the principal's office uh, back in third grade. Um, not to mention, uh, you know, we're going to talk about her legendary play productions and whatnot. Uh, you know, young man, older woman. Uh, we, we, you got to remind me about Florine wow. on on Martin also. Oh, my God. Yes. 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 I, that just hit me right now as we spoke. I got a check last week. Yes. Ooh. Residuals. Ooh. Come yes. on with it. Come on with it. Oh, uh, $21. Not, <laughs> there you go. Not to be outdone, uh, because epigenetics is real. Yes. Uh, her legendary daughter is also joining us right now. Um, we've known about, I've known about her since the late 80s, but, you know, she's done amazing work with, like, a lot of our favorites with, with uh, you know, name them. Badu, uh, Whitney Brown, yeah. Houston, not Damn. to mention the legendary Outkast. She, she has history. She has legacy. Not to mention... Um, you know the 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 daughters of legacy project that she's been a part of um, with Isaac Hayes's like sort of the the, the progeny of, oh, of all dope. the greats of Isaac Hayes's kids. Yes, yeah. yes of uh, Al Goodman, right? Of the moments in Ray Goodman Brown. Uh, no, they don't sing. No, the, the they kids, don't. The kids don't sing at all. So it's it's not. So you just. No. So it's. Isaac Hayes, Isaac Hayes' daughter. Right. Um, we had Ray Charles' daughter. Right. She's mm-hmm. in and out sometimes. We have and Ann Betty Wright. Betty Wright's daughter. Right, right. Uh-huh. Uh, and we have uh, Ruth Pointer's daughter. Oh, wow. Who okay. is also Dennis, Dennis Edwards' Edwards daughter. daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, snap. We found that out with Bonnie. Uh-huh. Yeah, Bonnie, yeah. <laughs> Bonnie let that one out the and back. And we have Ann Nesby's daughter. Right. Jimmy Smith. Oh, okay. She's Sounds a singer. Yeah, she's But a- not to mention, you, you've been... Uh, You've been hipping me to the, uh, the your 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 yacht rock review project, yes. which I can't yes. wait to talk about. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to Quest Love Supreme, the incomparable. Now I feel like Don Cornelius because you decided <laughs> to say the incomparable. <laughs> Millie Jackson, Keisha Jackson, to Quest yes. Love Supreme. Thank y'all so much, man. Thank you. I I will say that this episode probably started 45 minutes ago. We just started taping. <laughs> now. Hell yeah, it did. <laughs> It did. Oh, man. <laughs> but if we have started taping before then, I'm certain that we'll insert stuff. So um, how how are you ladies today? 
Okay. I'm fine, thank you. Okay. Well, we were paying uh, homage to you. You know. Uh, oh, that's why you were saying back mm-hmm. to the shit and feeling bitchy. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. We got we got to let our audience day. know who and, the queen is coming. We, I and, wasn't ready. And me either. And fuck you. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. I bet you you can't even spell it and you still saying it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Can you spell fuck you? Yes. Spell it. I thought Yo, so. Her spell way. it. Give me a shot. Good. P-H-U-C-K. You ain't finished. Oh, you. E- U- University. Oh, you, 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 you. E- you. That's you. you. Oh, E U. No, no, just you. Just you, oh, just you, just you. Just me. P- Fuck. <laughs> yeah, exactly. U- just you. C K dash U. Yes. Yeah. Take that's how you spell it. That hurt. Yeah. No, it 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 felt good to be cursed out by Millie Jackson. I've for real, it's for an honor. This all no, my life. Straight up. I've been waiting for this all my life. She just told me my mouth was dirty. I was like, word? I was just getting so wild. I was the, the mood that's we were wild. setting. Okay, well, all wait. All my life, that's we, what people say. Really? What? I want to meet your mom so she can cuss me out. <laughs> right! <laughs> right, exactly. Um, well, I'll, I'll ask you. Uh, we always start with, the, with uh, our first question of the show is, can you two share your first musical memory? Who wants to go first? Um, Your very first musical memory. Keisha, you know you should take it. You got the better memory. Mine is her. Oh, really? talk about yeah. it. Yeah. All right, talk we'll about go. It. Talk about yeah. it. Speak, speak it, on this. Yeah, my musical memory was her, but it's kind of hard to pin it down. Wait a minute. So, I not to interrupt you, but were you allowed to go to shows when you were <laughs> kids? Absolutely. She did back. Ground for the show. At, I beg your pardon. What no, age? but I mean, what as age? five, six, yeah, but no, seven. I was there. Like nothing. Listen, we'll get into that later. Okay, if you want to. Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> definitely, definitely went to shows early on. Didn't really know what I was witnessing. Right. You know, and, and as I got older, I was like, oh, this shit ain't normal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is not, this what ain't normal. This is this shit ain't normal. And it's really funny. And she does that because she knows that I don't. I typically don't cuss. I cuss, but mm. I typically don't cuss in front of her. Mm. That right. makes sense. So the it's irony like, even though it, I've been exposed sense. to it all my right. life, I just it's a respect thing, and it's a. But every now and then, listen, it, it flies out. out. It Wait, is what it is. I want to want to take a poll. Are are we cussing in front of our mamas yet? Fuck yeah. Yes. Fuck yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I just started I cussing in front of my, my mom. Like, yeah. Oh, you cuss yeah. your mom. Not a I lot. Cuss her out. Yeah, yeah you allowed to do that. Only thing you don't do is bitch. Like I almost caught myself the other day. No, we not yeah, there. We not, not there. even in a complimentary no, way. No, no, like, complimentary. Like you look good, mom. Like bitch. bitch. It was <laughs> same. Same. I don't do. Yeah. I don't do the b word, and I don't do. I don't throw f bombs. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Not, not or not. Not even not, ph bombs. Not. <laughs> not when you know I'm listening. Correct. Right. So when, I remember you okay. coming out the dressing room with the background <laughs> singers one time. <laughs> And didn't know I was in the hallway, yes. <clears throat> and I thought Millie Jackson had died doing yes. background. Yes. <laughs> yes. It goes down, though. Definitely but goes down. you, I mean, surely you know that the fruit doesn't fall far from the tree, so. But, I, hey, I, I was shocked. Yeah. Okay. And, and then what? She was saying things no. to the other <laughs> background singers because she was pissed off mm-hmm. Ooh. that, I haven't even said. She created new words that I had never heard. Now she said, Not possible. and I'm going, what? What? Not that, what? That, uh-huh. what? <laughs> Next generation curse. And she yeah. came out and saw me and went, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would probably react that way today, though, if she saw me, like, in my real, you know. Mm. Right. You so, know. so she was your first musical memory? She was my first. Thank you for reeling it back in. Uh. Yes, she was my first musical memory, but I don't have any specific memory like that comes to mind. It was just always music in the house. It was always the blues. It was always B.B. Mm-hmm. King, Bobby Bland. Like So I remember going to those shows because she was on the shows a lot with B.B. and Bobby. Mm-hmm. Uh, then it got into ZZ I Hill. I don't know why. why? ZZ <laughs> Hill, Denise LaSalle. Like those I don't were know why. The really? Was yeah. it what you didn't like? You didn't like it. We, we were with the same agency, you know. Uh, so I kept getting stuck in there. So yeah. they kept putting her with blues artists. A little bit more conservative. Because they didn't know they just didn't know where to put her. Mm, okay. So my Richard memories, Pryor was still alive. No, no. You would have did a show where, that would have been dope though. I did that. Once. <sighs> what? Just, just once. How yeah. was it? 
Not what I thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> was his audience shocked? Uh, no, he was. What do you mean? Wow. Please break this down. He met me on the elevator and looked at me like I was Satan number one and said, uh, 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 hi. Really? I said, I just met your mother. He said, he intimidated. Uh, he was intimidated. Yeah. 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 yeah I couldn't write him kind of black. I did not want to work with him no more. I get that. Oh, the man. irony of it is that, you know, I think, you know, back then it was the misogyny mm-hmm. as well. Like, mm-hmm. you know, it's okay. Women weren't for, allowed to. She was me living to in speak her. Like that, but but for his woman, mother yeah. was at his show. And I met his mother and she was nice and sweet. And, and she know. had the brothel, right? So, like, she'd been. She, Hello. I mean, you yeah. know, yeah. she was cool to me, but he wasn't. That's, wow. Yeah. yeah. You was her people, probably. She probably yeah. was like, that. I'm fucking with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, obviously, it, you know, I think in the case of being good for the goose and good for the gander, like, for sure. men are definitely territorial. Because even, if you remember when uh, WAP came out, Snoop had, like, did his yeah. first almost op-ed on... A lady shouldn't be saying that. I'm like, yo, didn't you make it? Ain't no doggy fun. style. Right. <laughs> I was like, I mean, wow. yeah. <laughs> wait, did I miss the memo? Yeah. Um, but wait, I well, since you're speaking of that time period, I always wanted to know: Have you ever had any interaction whatsoever with Betty Davis? No. Uh, okay, Betty Davis, the um, actress. Ex. Well, no, 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 no. not the, the actress. Singer. Uh, the ex-wife of Miles Davis, who I, she wanted, she too wanted to push the envelope, and like the NAACP kept. I don't remember her. meeting her. Okay. I met Miles, hmm. and he was more like the other one. Are you serious? Mm. Yeah. You. Mm, they wasn't ready for you. Who were the so were there um, any guys in the industry that like really were respectful, and like really supported you? The case? Yeah. Who were the people that really was in your corner? Joe Simon. Oh, wow. Okay. Label mate. Yeah. 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 He was one of the owners, actually, of Spring Records. And he was cool. Yeah. Fatback. Then, fat yeah, Fatback band. band. But we, I think I only worked with them maybe once. But Joe Simon and I worked together quite often. Okay. That's yeah. what's up. Our audience, they'll, they'll know Joe Simon from Drowning in the Sea of Love. They'll know that yeah. Yeah. sample. Of, but uh, yeah. he died. About a year and a half He died ago. a year and a half. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He did. And he had, I, I sent him preaching. <laughs> what? Right, he, That's right. He did join the ministry. Pastor, yeah. yeah, he gave, he gave it up and went preaching. Mm-hmm. I, I, I used to laugh about that. I said, did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> but for you, before you got your deal, like I know that, um, I guess your entry into this was writing poetry. So, not really. Really? So tell me about your being, like, what was the moment where you were like, I have a God-given talent and I, I want to express this? I owe my entire career and cussing and everything else to a very nice gentleman who I never heard curse in my life, Billy Nichols. Hmm. Okay. Who like, was he? Like Billy Nichols? Billy Nichols. Okay. Uh, he had a band and a group came out afterwards I'm trying to remember the name of his band but he you know took me to spring okay yeah you, what year was this 1971 okay that's what's up so before then had you in fact uh, I did one song prior to that with MGM okay mm. A little bit of something's worth more. Oh, MGM Records. Than a whole lot of nothing now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like a uh, post. And then it took me yeah. two years to learn how to cuss, and I went to spring. <laughs> what does that mean? Because MGM didn't. didn't nah, they didn't, were super. No, yeah. no, 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 no. But how do you learn? You said two years to learn how to cuss. Oh, I already knew how. I well, figured when did that. you When okay. did you feel safe? Because the thing is that even though we're joking about it, it's very real because, you know, as I mentioned, with, when Betty Davis tried to do it, it was to the point where she couldn't do shows no more because they would actually have, like, bomb threats. And literally, like, she was a threat to people. So to be so unrestricted, like, what was the, for you, what was the, the, the turning point of, All they had I'm going to be was, me? All they had to do was see my live show and say, 
uh, sign her because I was always cussing at the live show. <laughs> but not on the and record. club promoters, and they were fine with that, or oh yeah, they say adults only. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. I see that. So some people was upset when they came to see my show, so I had to really cuss them out because <laughs> since it said adults only, I guess they thought I was supposed to be getting undressed. Ah, uh, okay. Ah. They thought it was. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they thought it was. She didn't know that. I didn't know that. <laughs> no, that makes sense. Yeah, adults only. That's that's for the strippers. Uh huh. You see nothing here. <laughs> And get cussed out if you ask to see something else. A whole lot of legs. Yeah, I gave them leg now. I I always had nice legs. No ass, but nice legs. Okay. Legs are good. (laughs) You're doing well. You're doing well for yourself. So when, in the studio at least, when you are doing your legendary raps, uh, when we say legendary raps, you know, there's this start streaming. Sing the song, shut the hell up, and turn the mic on. Really? So and you would just do it live with the band right there? and Yeah. Whatever comes up came out. I mean, it was in my head. It always related to whatever the song was. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, I just meant in terms of, you know, when you, you're structuring the song. Um, is it a You thing see the terrible like- thing about being in love with a married man. Mm-hmm. 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 Tell me. Go in. Come on. Talk That's about the it. first line. Oh, no. oh, I know. Oh, I, know. I, know. I, know. I, I thought... was waiting for you to keep going. But, but I'm saying, you know, I done finished singing. If loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. right. So, so then... now, you see the terrible thing about being in love with a married man? The fact that you can't see him when you really want to. And on stage, you know, you see the terrible thing about being in love with a married man. You got to get fucked after he fucked his wife. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You so two versions. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Did you? All right. So what? This is the guy. That's, 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 yeah, that's, that's, that's the show. Yeah. That's the show. I'm just. I'm <laughs> saying, Keisha. It had to be show. fun. It just. I, don't, I mean, I know it was a lot. Man, wow. so, I mean, I know it was a lot. It was. God damn. Sometimes you just have. You to. were. You were nominated for a Grammy for that version of Loving You Is Wrong, if why, I believe. Why, why do you want to remind me? Why do you... I, I, why didn't, do, I didn't even want to be in the mic to say this. I'm <laughs> giving you your flowers. Let's get it to I'm giving you your flowers. Let's get into no, it. Let's no, no, it. No, no, no. No, there's a story no, there. So no. Wait, there's it's a story? a story there. Nah, let's talk about oh, it. Oh, I didn't even... I don't know Rather the story. Rather than nominate me for the Grammy, right. uh-huh. they gave it to Aretha Franklin for a fucking song that was two years old. What was this? Ain't what? nothing like the real thing one, yeah. I think. That year. Two years old. It shouldn't have even been nominated. Yeah, it shouldn't have been. It shouldn't have. Been, it shouldn't have yeah, so met the was, was was it uh, uh, Clive? Sorry. No, it wasn't Clive. It was pre Clive. Okay, cool, cool. cool. Oh, it was. Uh, uh, it was. Uh, uh, our, our Turkish. I don't know who it was, uh, but they got. No, I'm it. I'm it. I'm it. Erdogan. I'm it. Yeah. Right. And Joe Wexler. Yeah. 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 Mm. So it's funny because there's a video on YouTube with the and David Bowie is is introducing the award mm-hmm. oh i remember a side eye moment and he's high as hell <laughs> right like he was like hello and he's high and swaying and chill cool as hell and he's like the nominees for best uh r&b singer female is and it was like it was mom it was i think it was uh thelma houston mm-hmm. um i forget who the other who the others were and then it was aretha franklin and so you see as they're announcing the names, you know, everybody's just kind of poised and she's got on this white outfit, white hat, and she's sitting there like, <laughs> I mean, I love her. she knew that it wasn't gonna go to her because they slipped Aretha in the category at the last minute and she wasn't, her song wasn't even qualified because oh. she, hadn't, she hadn't put out a record in two years. Wow. So everybody knew. All the other ladies yeah. knew what was going down. So when it came time, but how does that affect your relationship with Aretha? Because technically, it wasn't her fault. That's her people, like putting it in, you know, placing her in the right places. I have no problem with Aretha, except for the fact that I uh, was also booked by the same agency, and mm. I wouldn't let her up the hallway one day. She was. <laughs> Mm-mm. What does that? You wouldn't let her. She she was coming up the hallway, and I stepped in front of her, mm. and she looked at me like, Bitch. Uh, 
and stepped over and I stepped over again. Oh, at the distance. And I says, hello, Aretha. Yeah, bitch, like, you see me? Mm-hmm. And she says, hi. I said, that's all. I just come up here every day after I get off from work and I see you and you won't speak. So I was determined that you was going to say hello to me today. You can go on about your fucking business. Shit. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Bitches be like. Thank Boom. You. I love it. Energy. Yeah. Man. I yeah. still have my day gig. I love it. So you were still but working. You were still working like a regular job. Yeah. What, what were well, you doing? What was your day job? <clears throat> I was working in the garment district. Okay. Yes. Oh. In New York City. In New York City. Okay. Do, yes. Doing what? Yes, I was, and uh, I worked from uh, nine to five, hmm. and I'd get up for work and go up to Queens Booking Agency to see my agent every day, who also booked Aretha. Wow. Mm. In fact, they damn near booked everybody black, mm. but the top of the list was. Sammy Davis Jr. Uh, oh, dog. Uh, so yeah. Dinah Washington. Mm-hmm. Well, how? And the three. When Dinah died, they stuck Aretha in there. Yeah, but it was uh, Sammy Davis Jr., Dinah Washington, and the jazz artist. What's her name? Uh, Nancy, Sarah, Nancy, yeah, Nancy no, Wilson, no, no. Sarah Vaughn, uh-uh. 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 uh, Ella, Ella? Uh, 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 No, I can't think of a name. That's all right. That's I'm cool. curious. I'm like, were you priority uh, in this Betty list? Carter? Oh hell no! That's no. what I was thinking. That's I was she, like, that's yeah, Aretha, like that's where the Aretha problem comes in because so it's so many Aretha issues because they it's like, had the, yeah they yeah. Booked, she was on their roster and so she got the gigs and she was pushed down the, the list thing uh, the reason I ended up at Queen's Booking Agency mm-hmm. is Henry Nash was uh, the tour manager for a show I did prior to him going to Queen Booking Agency. Mm-hmm. Ah, so you he was, uh, I was with, on tour with Elsie Cook, hmm. Sam Cook's Sam brother. Sam Cook, yeah, Elsie, yeah. Elsie, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, we toured for two years prior to him going to Queen Soul Booking Soul. Okay. Agency okay. and booking me. Wow. Okay. Yeah. See, this In fact, I didn't even have a record when I was out there. And we singing with LC, was that gospel? Was that primarily oh, gospel? Oh, hell, hell to the no. What? Oh. Gospel. No. What was he? So what was LC? He wasn't a gospel singer. No. Oh, okay. Gotcha. No, he just never had a hit because of his brother. Hmm. His brother just took away all his stardom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. He ain't he ain't but he too actually he well. he had one I think he maybe had one album but he had to do blues. So with you when you were talking about them putting you in the blues category and lumping you with blues artists, where did you want to be? Did you feel like you were more soul R&B? Where did you want to be? I was with I talked a lot. Okay. I talked too much, so I was like the female Isaac Hayes. Mm. Ah, okay. Ike's rapping. Yeah, I was yeah, going to yeah, say, yeah. how did how did those collaborations come about? Me and Isaac. Yeah. Uh, we both ended up with the same record company, uh, and they wanted me to do something with a man. I said, "Well, you got Isaac. Case closed." Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's right. Isaac did sign a Poly Door in yeah. seventy. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, was with Spring, who was distributed, distributed by Poly Door. Jules Rifkin. Yeah. yeah. The, what was Jules Rifkin like? <laughs> Jules Rifkin was. We're like hanging on to every word. Well, like, is this gonna be like, good? Is this gonna be bad? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, Jules Rifkin was there because he was Roy Rifkin's brother. Mm-hmm. Okay. Roy Rifkin was the. President. Julie was the vice president, but who actually took care of all of the music and had the ear was Bill Spitalski. Wow. I oh, didn't remember his name from Steve. Yeah, no. Nah. They all did now. Nah. Okay. Okay. 
All right, now I feel like we can get the stories out of her that we wanted to get out of out of Rifkin. Yeah. Okay. okay, and this is the thing: whenever we have uh, either an act or an executive uh, that was especially active in the '60s and '70s, you know, the question I always ask him is: I know that labels were mafia run. I that's, don't that's think the Rifkins was in that. No, 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 they weren't. I know, but. Okay. It's like, how do you avoid running into them? That's the th- and that's the thing that amazed me about Jules Rifkin is the fact that, you know, in the days of Morris Levy and all of, you know, mm-hmm. the 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 mafia run labels and whatnot. Like but I've Palador heard Palador was German. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, this is the beginning of the the major labels establishing and taking out the smaller labels. How how did you avoid because usually with from what I know is that if you have some sort of success or notoriety then they're going to take you or jack you or your manager winds up dead in an alleyway somewhere or I didn't have one of those they would be killed, you were self managed they, they would be really? killing the prize ah uh, so you managed yourself pretty much your whole Never career. had a man entire career. No. Wow. Wait, Wait, how does that, how happen? does that happen? How does that happen? You keep your day job. So you I never understand. once this is not the first time I've heard this because um I So the, you can tell somebody, go fuck yourself, I got a job. No, you keep your yeah. You and keep I'm your autonomy. Get paid with or without you. Hey. But how do you do the business? You still gotta do the business representing yourself. Get all of it. Like, cause you I, and you had I, a nine to five. I majored in business. Let's talk about it. The cop. See, we didn't get. See, I'm, okay. D- d- I need to know. This I majored is, in business. This is interesting to me because I'm just finding out. Makes so much sense that Bill Withers didn't even feel safe uh-huh. in leaving his airport job mm. until adjustments came out. Mm. Wow. So that means mm. still Bill, just as I am. Wow. And Carnegie yeah. Hall. He was still wow. working. He yeah. was still had. He was in baggage. Job. Nah, uh, he, he was like he was an airplane installed tourists okay. in the airplane. Okay. Wow, wow. So yeah, yeah there's no, like no, a picture of him with his yeah. With his toolbox so the, yeah, the cover of, of the, the cover first the, album, the cover him. the last thing. He's actually on yeah. his lunch break with his actual Damn. yeah yeah lunchbox. Yeah. Wow. Like I thought they manufactured that yeah. thing. Like oh, you know, everyday guy Bill Withers. No, he was like, this is my lunch break. Wow. Yeah. Take the photo. <laughs> so for you working, that was the way of keeping your autonomy. That was the way of owning yes. yourself. Yes, I worked down in the garment district, and I got my all of my uniforms for twenty percent off of uh, 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 the regular price. Mm-hmm. Not no, no, we don't deal with that wholesale price. Wholesale. Oh, you got twenty percent off a of wholesale. Wholesale. Ooh, yes. man. I mean, not Mrs. Millie. So that's where all your stage clothes came from. Yes. So you never said what I you was did. Say. That that explains it. So wait, you never said what your job was in the garment district. What was the the gig? I was the assistant supervisor of shipping for uh what the was name Kimberly? Of Kimberly Knitwear. Huh. Shipping, eh? Yes. Yeah. Some power in that. <laughs> wait, are you about to go get a job right now in the garment district? <laughs> right, right. Find, just gotta no. find a shipper. I'm just thinking about how she used that Look, power. There's right. no shame in that. Yeah. You know, I've oh, once really? had 19 jobs, and now I got seven. So, yeah. Hey. And, I, I, and, I, stay and I knew since I was in the garment district, I know where to go and get all the rhinestones and the shiny yeah. stuff to put on my Kimberly knitwear. Oh, and they liked that you wore they shit too. No, they didn't did like, not like they kept, it. Really? They didn't know no. anything about any of that. Uh-oh. The point is, when I hit the stage, I looked like I was one of them people that was making a whole lot of money. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. perception. Mm-hmm. Because I had my twenty percent off wholesale. Twenty percent off wholesale. And, Y'all don't and, understand. And, and lots wholesale. of and lots of rhinestones and beads that I sold on myself. Yeah. Keisha, when did you know that you said, you know, you were a kid, you just go around music, it's, you know, it's just normal. When did you know that it wasn't normal? When did you know that your mom was like, holy shit, my mom is like a star? She didn't know it too. Uh, I sent her to college. Well, <laughs> so I got a, I kind of started to feel that we moved from Brooklyn to Teaneck. Oh. New Wait, Jersey. where were you born and where were you born? I was born in Thompson, Georgia, 129 miles north of here. Of Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. Yes. And you? I was born in Brooklyn. Okay. Kings County Hospital. You were one. Yeah. Kings so, County. Jordan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Michael Jordan. She moved on her own, basically, from Georgia to New York. Okay. Wow. And 
Newark. That into Newark. Well, up north. Uh, uh, people in the, the people in Georgia didn't know no better. They, including me. Who, they thought they, it was all they, the same. They thought New York. Close She's enough. going to New York. New York. <laughs> New York. It, it took two years hey. before I decided to go to the Apollo Theater and had to go through the Holland Tunnel. And I went, what Two the, years? What, did you, did, 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 yeah. <laughs> What is Look, this? I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. I haven't been in New York this whole time. This time. <laughs> she had no idea. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. I still, I'm sorry, New Jersey, and while I'm at it, I'm also sorry, New Zealand. Like, I just sort of <laughs> consider y'all New York. Like, like I, I consider. New Zealand, Australia behind yes. everyone's back yes. and they get mad at that. Yes. Nah, yes. They don't play that shit. Right. And New Jerseyans and whatnot. I actually think it's better to look at New York and live in New Jersey yeah. than to actually be live in New Zealand. Okay, so everybody that was recording and working in New York, telling people they lived in New York, actually live across the George Washington Bridge and Teaneck and Inglewood. Yeah. yeah, they yeah. still do that. They and still I'm gonna, do that. And I'm gonna yeah. tell you the real reason why. Because you gotta keep your family <laughs> right. Based on where I live right now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I ain't trying to put people out there, but I definitely know that my uh, apartment is side chick central. Oh <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, that's a nice. Yeah, that's a side chick building. That's and expensive. I'm just saying, I see a lot of Lamborghinis Cat and mm. you know mm. whatever. And that's where I can't mention can't it. where Mir <laughs> lives. But yes, I will say. Yeah, I will say that most. He lives People in the city. Live. Oh, you are in New York. Mm-hmm. I live in Manhattan. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm, and we'll see you. I'll see a lot of sports figures in my building. Like they live here. It's nah, like, no. Nah, nah. And then I realize, ah, okay. But you Midtown, right? Nah, I, Don't I try live. Don't try to narrow it down. <laughs> I'm trying to, Wait a minute. Trying to I'm about to give my address you away. There's a lot of buildings in he New York. Keep it low. But and guess he, what? What's he? What? what uh, Ain't nobody. I've said there. it before. I got I, one question. I live okay. in the fight. I, I when live. you leave Jersey to go to New York, do you go through the Lincoln Tunnel, the Holland Tunnel, or the George Washington Bridge? Uh, I Holland Tunnel. Oh, you? Oh, stop. oh, what's it mean? What's it? No, that's, I just want to know what oh, it means. What, what does that mean? Really? Oh, what it Downtown mean? Downtown New York. Down. Yeah, I live. George Washington Lower Bridge, Manhattan. you uh-huh. at the top. No, no, no. I don't live near George Washington. I'm, that's because I'm you're in Teaneck and two minutes away, you know, me. <laughs> okay. So you go across the George Washington Bridge. Ain't yeah. nobody go. Go all the way downtown and go through the Lincoln Tunnel. I, I live downtown. Yeah, she's just okay. CSI. My bro. partner in the route. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she gonna expose all the people. Right, like no. me and the Asleys and yeah. everybody else that claimed they were in New York. They right. famously Jersey Asleys. I feel yeah. like Asleys. Yeah. 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 That's why. Yeah. Ray, Ray Goodman and Brown. Right. Chuck Jackson. They were all neighbors. Wow. So, Houston. so when you moved to Jersey as a kid, so when I moved right, we I moved from we moved from Brooklyn to Teaneck, and I was six. Uh, mm. And so at that point, I knew okay, we're moving on up. Moving on up. <laughs> like I knew something was up, but did you know you just you just go like? But you was going to the show. Well, no, you weren't going to the shows by that time. Well, you were. Oh, but I was you definitely didn't, going. But you didn't know what you were doing. No, I didn't. I didn't know. I was just there. and I wasn't paying attention to the shows. I'm in the back, probably playing with somebody else's kids right. can't wait till the show is over mm-hmm. you know and then uh so but it was when i went to she did not see me at the apollo mm. which apollo which apollo show there's something you can feel apollo where you're going around no, feeling no no no, Ooh, no, no, feeling. Feeling. What? <laughs> no I'm oh talk, yeah she was i'm there. talking was about the... the other apollos when <sighs> you were allowed to come to the show but not to go out in the audience oh, okay Cause I used to sell the the roses with the lights in it. Okay. Yeah. So that's what I and, and pictures. Y'all was hustling. <laughs> what are you talking about? She yeah. said she majored in business. I, but this even, was before. This, I'm talking I, about your mama. Before, I had nothing to do with. She that. had nothing to do with. Oh. That. No, I was just like that was my way of. That was your I kind of hustled my way to get on to, oh, to get on the dope, road. Uh-huh. That's dope. So uh-huh. I stayed in the Merch. lobbies during the shows selling the 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 light the lighted roses, and then they always wanted to buy from Millie's daughter. Oh, cause ah. they they so knew we it. Had several I mean, people. They can look and see oh yeah, this. but <laughs> but no, I told them because I wanted the money. You <laughs> know, I was like, well, mother's you know, I gotta daughter, because my mother's getting ready to come up. That's your mom. <laughs> yes, ma'am. How many roses do you want? You know. <laughs> so that's what I would do to just kind of cassette tapes, pictures, yeah. and 
bootlegging too? Lit Roaches. Yeah. Damn. So was wait. it was it just y'all was like, well, you, where was your dad? Was he in the picture this he time? He wasn't in nope. the picture. It was just y'all. He was. She, you you were well, adamant on that? No. Nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> nope. No, he wasn't. I did around. not say no. No, you did not. So it was. Nope. So it was y'all two, and you're working in the garment district, and you had you were were you born by this time? Was it? Was this all? Well, at the same I time? was. You got to give that because. When you I were having your nine and five. Oh, garment district. No, that was uh, no. before me. Oh, that was before you. Okay. Mm-hmm. No, because I was trying to see like, were you taking care of a kid, working line. and oh, no, doing? No, I was like, no, man. No. Okay, gotcha. No. What I do want to know is, uh, in your day job, did they know you were? Legendary Millie Jackson? No. Wow. How I wasn't that. I was gonna say, were you legendary at that time? I I I I I stayed there. Oh, you you gotta get close. I stayed there to seventy one. Okay. And I had had uh, um, a little bit of something worth more than a whole lot of nothing. Now, then, uh, that was the my first song. Right. Clean, not a curse word in it. Uh, then in seventy one, right, I uh, Joe Simon put me on a child of God is hard to believe. Mm-hmm. <sighs> that is, yes, that's what it's called. That and, was but, my but, title, but, but the thing is, yeah. it's called a child of God, it, and in parenthesis, it said it's hard to believe. Okay, mm-hmm. and Joe Simon was was promoting <laughs> the song and the album. Mm-hmm. And they were telling him off, and he had to go crazy. Is it my the DJs who said mad at him because they thought they were they they was playing oh, they didn't me know. on gospel station, right. oh, a wow. child of God? Oh no! <laughs> yes. Yes. Joke on! And no, and so when the record first came out, you know, but they after they finally got it, uh, and they heard. You see the terrible thing about going <clears throat> with a married man and. <laughs> yeah, them, them right, church right, people right, was right. like, yeah, say yes, what now? Yes. So they thought the gospel and, artists and, and, had turned. Yes, and Joe Simon is saying, is it my fault you didn't read the title of the song? Uh, or listen to the song before you play it. Right. right. It's hard to believe is in parenthesis under a child of God. Yeah, that's that's still one of my favorite songs, though, just because of the... the I know some people who go to church on Sunday. Them that same people or watch a lynching on Monday. Mm, mm, mm. Damn. Talk yeah, about justice and being free. But they'll watch a lynching so easily. Yes, it's hard. Hard to believe they're a child of God. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. That song is <laughs> serious business. Some people I call these people children of God. Mm-mm. I'm so glad we sitting here with you. No, this is, <laughs> this is, this is just, amazing. Mm, 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 so, mm. I okay. So you mentioned. Excuse me, y'all didn't have to get quiet. Then, no, you know, nah, you were singing. We was in the moment. Yeah, yeah, we we just take folks to church and you tell talking, them. Talking, we, we listen. I, I was just doing a little. Ex- okay. So, no, sampling. You went to Jive Records in '85. Wild Hot Unrestricted was. In 1985 or 86, I believe. I put them out of business because they had time to sign a new contract, and I asked for so much money, Spring couldn't pay it, and they closed the doors. Right. Mm. And then uh, Barry signs you to Jive. Yes. Is that how you know the beer is different in the U.K.? <laughs> yes. That's, that's why I didn't want to ask <laughs> you. <laughs> because the, you had to record your album. I never understood why. When, when did Battery Studios get built because every artist that was on they Jive Records in, in London, would have yeah. to fly to London mm-hmm. and record their stuff. I only did stuff. it once. Okay. And that then was I, for that I album? Start, then I start cussing. <laughs> well, wait. Well, what, you okay, so what was that. the decision? All right, when you, when you, I'm not saying your comeback, but, you know, what? hot, wild, unrestricted, crazy love wasn't, you know, that was that was your, your, your yeah. mainstream offering yeah. without... The spice. Yeah. First of all, whose suggestion was that? And how long was it before you decided to go well, back to the shit? Ac- actually, <laughs> uh, Hot Wild Unrestricted Crazy Love yeah. was um, done by um, Isn't that Timmy Allen. Uh, 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 two writers that 
they already had signed. They was oh, signed staff to writers and staff writers. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I see. And you recorded that album in the UK? Not the whole album, no. Or just a couple of songs. Okay. Yeah. What was that experience like? Because recording over there, mm-hmm. they were. That's where the company was. Okay. I was over there for two days and back home. Okay, I was about to oh, ask, wow. what was your was experience? Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> okay. Oh wow. Didn't love London. Everyone else was like <laughs> no, doing well, months. You know, there. I was the producer, so after that, so. <laughs> wow. I don't go in the studio till I know what I'm getting ready to do. I see. I love it. Ah. And oh. most of the songs was written by me, so yo, I knew what I was gonna do. Wait, you were right live in the studio? No. It was never demoed ahead of time, or it. it when I was the producer, All right? I would do the track off the top of my head because I already got the words. I already wrote the song, okay. Okay. and then I'd go back and do it again, the 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 uh, vocals again because. I said a word that kind of off. I mm. think I should do that over. But you do that when you produce. Yeah. When you say do the track, would you like dictate? Do you actually play instruments, or would you nope, dictate the nope, ideas nope, to nope, other musicians? Nope, nope. How would you do it? I ain't doing no instruments. <laughs> 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 nope. I play keyboards to write the song, and then I ain't playing on it no more. This is the song. Uh-huh. I played the keyboard on Child of God, and then you. The, he come see what I'm doing and he do what I'm doing mm-hmm. and do it better than me because I can write four songs while I'm playing the keyboards on one song. Ooh. I have a question. Uh, I want you to talk about, uh, there's a song of yours called Give It Up in which you're advocating. Uh, you going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. That's not a song title. <laughs> right. Why? No. You going to hell, I was just saying. Oh, <laughs> You're I mean, not supposed to use the Lord's name in vain. Ain't that something? Now, I had to say that to her before because I she heard me say, God damn it. She was like, don't cut. I was like, you made a whole record. Give it up, God damn. Give it up right now. Give it up. <laughs> you Look, I'm just recapitulating <laughs> your don't entire do it, career. And it's in the song. <laughs> How does that? <laughs> Yo. No, like, but uh, I mean, at the time, it was it was... Uh, envelope pushing because people weren't thinking about uh, rights for women or rights for the LGBTQ. I, like they weren't even identified back right. then. But what made you like? Was that your demographics? Like who who was in '79? Like I really became familiar with you when my aunt my aunt used to always play live and unrestricted. Okay. So that was when i realized like oh my dad got millie jackson records then i go back and see them at the bottom of the pile or whatever but who was coming to the shows because even at those shows the audience is almost louder than you are so it's it's like who was your audience at that time um, let me say something yes i remember i wasn't in the audience i distinctly <laughs> okay. remember i distinctly remember her being on phone multiple times talking to potential promoters, people booking shows, and mm. she would say, when is it? The 29th? That's it. That's the last week of the month. The people that come to my shows don't have no money. So it was welfare mm. recipients. It mm. was people that she knew. They knew when that she check came. She knew her audience. She knew her audience. First and 15th. She, she did not play. She did not play around with she that. And there were times that she would say, I'm not doing the gig. And it didn't matter what money they were offering. She was like, it don't matter because ain't no people going to be there. And she knew that you when it came time. You the week of the 23rd. And she knew that she, she, I'm not going to go Makes because sense. I'm not going to get my money at the end of the night because you're going to come to me crying about how the people didn't show up. How the people didn't pay. Right. So she never, I remember that. Wow. I forgot that. That's what she there for. <laughs> I never thought of that. I never knew that one could be that strategic with their career. I mean, all the time. I mean, it's too late for me now. I'm like 30 years into <laughs> mine. <laughs> but I'm like, wait, how come I never like thought that? Yeah. I told you I'm the manager. Yeah. So, wow. right. Can we- how did you balance all that? How did you balance between the management and the music? Like, how did you, how did you balance it? I always thought that managers was overpaid mm-hmm. for doing something that they had to tell you to do when you already know what you want to do. Ooh. She's Why like, would you, you know, why do I need you to tell me to do this gig? I know if I want to do this gig or not. See, Prince said And they that have to bring it to, to her to finalize it anyway. So off, she's yeah. like, if you got to bring it to me to, to say yes, then I may as well just do it. 
But right. we never expounded on your background when it came to business, though, because you said you went to college, you majored in nope, business. Nope, didn't nope, go to nope, college. Nope. Wait. She went to college. She didn't go to college. So wait. When, I thought you said you majored, you majored in business, but no. I did. In night school. <laughs> okay. So oh, wow. what? So tell me about that then. So you went to night school to finish your... I got out of that. Got out of high school. Yeah. Because uh, my um, biology teacher sucked. <laughs> and um, and I hope you mean they were horrible. <laughs> I do. Right. It's Millie okay. Jackson. Okay. Yes. Millie Jackson. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey. She was yeah. horrible. Never know. This but is she, a Millie Jackson story. She said to me one day, <laughs> uh, I, we were getting, well, I would, you know, you, you do A and B classes. Mm-hmm. The first year you do this, and then you go to B of the same class. And our B was a real teacher mm-hmm. in biology. Mm-hmm. And I knew I was going to fail B, and I've been on the honor roll. And this old bitch in A <laughs> would stand up in there and talk all day long. And one day I just got pissed, and I stood up. I had held my hand up, and she would not acknowledge my hand for 15 minutes. And finally, I stood up, and I informed her. I said, look, I have biology, too, next term. Mm -hmm. Mr. Sampson, don't play, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, are you going to tell me this bullshit about when you were in the Army? I don't give a damn about you being in the Army. Teach me biology. I want to know biology. Right. So are you going to answer my question I've been trying to ask you about <laughs> biology or not? F. She's right yeah. there now in this moment. Okay. Right back and there. she sent me to the principal. He's standing right here. Right, so right. this passion been in you. She Ain't nothing changed. sent me <laughs> to mm-hmm. the principal. Okay. And Mr. Landoffy said, what's it? Do you remember his name? Mr. Landoffy. What did you get last semester? And I told him, I, I'm still on honor roll. He says, well, you're not going to fail the subject because it was the last semester of the term, mm. this, you know. Mm-hmm. And he said, what other subject would you like to take? That's how you got to. He goes, send me to somewhere else so I don't have to go back to her class no more because if she gave me an F for the last, I'm already passed. Mm-hmm. Shout out mm-hmm. to Mr. Landolfi. Yeah, so. Yes. You took business. I, yes. Okay. I says, I don't need biology. I don't need to know what's going on here and there with a frog and a dog and a whatever. <laughs> um, I want bookkeeping. That was brilliant. All right, so there you have it, folks. That's all for part one of Quest Love Supreme with the one and only Millie Jackson and Keisha Jackson. Uh, come back for part two where Millie sings one of her latest songs and Keisha talks about working with Outkast. And uh, they share an incredible mother-daughter story that it has to be heard to be believed. All right, see you all next week. <laughs>